It was a chance thing and I don't even remember her name. I wonder if my parents remember her name. One second. Ma? Hey, what's up GQ? This is Troy Sivan. I am coming to you from isolation in my parents' house in Melbourne. And today, I'm gonna go undercover on the internet. It's actually me. Seriously, it's actually me. Okay, so the first place I'm gonna log on is Cora. And we've got a question here. What is Troy Sivan like in real life? I reckon I'm like pretty quiet in real life. I have like two friends total in the world and I like it that way. I can get a little bit quiet in like group situations and stuff. Really like being with my family, really like being with my friends, really like being with my dog. But hopefully people would say I'm like nice. That's like my goal in life. Next question from Cora is, <laughs> How is Troy Sivan constantly able to write catchy hit music? First of all, I've never written a hit in my life. No, I'm just kidding. But um, I don't really strive for like hit music. That's never really been what's driven me. I just wanted to connect with people on a real, real, real level, you know? Maybe get them to think about their life and their situation in a way that they've never thought about it before. I think that's the main goal. But thank you very much. That's very, very nice of you. Why did Troy Sivan stop making as many YouTube videos as he used to? Honestly, I just got over it. If it feels genuine and exciting to me, hopefully it's gonna feel genuine and exciting to everyone else. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm not gonna like fake it. This is not exciting to me anymore. Let me go do something that's actually exciting and like hopefully you guys will still be along for the ride, you know? Moving over to Twitter now. Troy Sivan got catfished by someone pretending to be Greta Thunberg. What timeline are we living in? This was the most insane thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. Basically, um, my manager got reached out to by Greta Thunberg's dad, and then it turns out that it was actually these like Russian hackers pretending to be Greta Thunberg's dad, which was cool and awesome and also hilarious. Like I died laughing. I think it's the funniest thing ever. They still have my number. Every now and then I'll get a text from like Greta Thunberg. Let's just be like, hey, what's up? How are ya? It's great. Who do you think is the most underrated artist right now? Oof, that's a good question. Should I go into my Spotify? I have my laptop right here. Let me do that. Who have I been listening to? Oh, you know who I'm excited about? I've only ever heard one song. Charlie XCX signed this artist called Elio, and she's got the song out called My Friends Online that I really, really like. So I'm very keen to hear more from her. Moving on to YouTube. Someone says he looks sassy. 100%, I am sassy. I, I mean, the screenshot that I'm seeing here is from the Bloom video, which is probably me at my sassiest. I was on a journey that day for sure, really feeling myself. I was blonde, freshly, freshly bleached, full face of makeup. I felt like a, like a bitch, it was awesome. Why does he look like Scarlett Johansson's male version? I take that as a huge, huge compliment, thank you. She's Jewish, I didn't know that. She's like such a surprise Jewish person to me and I'm Jewish. So um, I take great, great pride in that compliment. Thank you very much. Somebody says, oh my God. Does anyone remember the Spud movies? No, and for good reason. Next question. So when I was like 14, 15, 16, 17, I got cast in like, like I don't want to up talk it, but it was sort of like South African Harry Potter. And I went and I made these movies. Um, the first one's all right. Don't watch the rest. Troy, take yourself home. Me, raising awareness in a worldwide pandemic to shelter in place, stay at home. I'm not gonna lie, this was a complete accident. I wrote Take Yourself Home a good few months ago, well before the effects of COVID-19. It just felt like the right time to release it. And it also is called Take Yourself Home, which like everybody should be doing if you can be doing. So it's, it's part catchy pop song, part PSA. It's very chic. Back to Cora. What is Troy Sivan's haircut name? Honestly, like, don't even look at this. I was so tempted to put on a, ha uh, a hat today. I'm sure you guys have seen worse because everyone's in quarantine, but not having access to a hairdresser is, is not doing me any favors. At the moment, it's kind of like a, like a curly, moppy mullet. Let's call it that, the curly, moppy mu- <laughs> Well, say that five times fast. Curly, moppy mullet, curly. Nope, never mind. Okay, another question from Cora. How do you think of Troy Sivan's music and his future? I just want like in 15 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, I want people to be like, oh, did you hear that Troy Sivan released a new blank? That should be cool. Or at least that should be interesting. You know, like I just want to keep people on their toes. So be it an album or a like furniture line. I have no idea. I just want people to like, trust me, you know what I mean? And be like, okay, cool. He's like acting with integrity. And that's like all I really want in life, I think. Spotify where people listen. Jakarta is my number one city in the world. Jakarta, Indonesia. I've been there. I really, really liked it. Sydney, Australia. Hell yeah. How do you say this? Quezon City? Quezon City in the Philippines? What's up? 
Singapore and Chicago. I think I've been to all of these places except for Quezon City, but I have been to the Philippines and I loved it there. And now it feels kind of like a crazy fever dream to think about touring. Like it feels like I can't believe we ever did that. And it's only been like a month of the self-isolation thing, but I really, really can't wait to, can you imagine how lit the world is going to be like after this quarantine when we all get to like be together in big groups and just like celebrate life and music and like get drunk with each other all of these things that we took for granted i'm i'm very very excited to hit the road again and my first stop is going to be jakarta indonesia twitter troy sivan played young logan in x-men origins wolverine yeah i did that was my first ever audition so i was just a singer on youtube like i used to upload videos of me singing these random little songs and then um a manager found me and he was like hey i like what i see but i'm not a music manager i don't know what to do with that have you ever tried acting before? And at the time I hadn't. And he was like, can I send you some auditions? Is that cool? And the first one he ever sent to me was uh, to play young Wolverine in X-Men Origins Wolverine. My parents at the time, we, my dad was at the shopping center. I'm giving you the long story. My dad was at the shopping center and this girl came up to him and she was like, hey, do you know where I can, um, like, is there any hotels or anything nearby? And he was like, wait, what, why? And she's like, because I'm sleeping in my car. I'm from Canada. And my dad was like, are you Jewish? Cause he could just like, tell from the, the vibes. And she was like, yeah, I am. And he was like, do you need a place to stay? I swear I'm not crazy. These are my like four children. This is my wife. We live wherever we live. Here's my GPS, drive to our house and you can stay at us. You don't have to sleep in your car. She came over. Now it was time for me to film this audition. And I had no idea how to film anything. Like I had never edited before, never filmed before. And she was like, oh, I'm a film student. I know exactly how to do all of this shit. And so me, my mom and this stranger sat down, filmed an audition. I was like acting for the first time, had no idea what I was doing. She helped me like edit it, export it, we sent it off. And then two weeks later, I found out that I got the part. And then I was in an X-Men movie. It was a chance thing and I don't even remember her name. I wonder if my parents remembered her name. One second. Ma? Do you remember the name of the girl who helped us edit the Wolverine audition? The one who stayed at us? What was it, Dad? Lara? Okay, so apparently it might be Lara. That's like all we've got so far. But we will do some detective work and we're gonna find out. Instagram. Someone says, what's your son's name? And put a photo of my beautiful, beautiful dog, Nash. His name is Nash. This is so, so, so hard for me to be away from him for this long, purely because I don't know when I'm next gonna see him and it's like actually breaking my heart. I said goodbye to him before I went to Atlanta. I was shooting a movie there and then the movie got put on pause and I flew to Australia and now like God knows when I'm gonna be able to leave. So I just wish I could like talk to him and explain. Can you imagine if I could just like send him a text and be like, hey, Nashy, it's me. Um, just to let you know, there's like a global pandemic. I don't know when I'm next going to see you, but I promise I think about you every second of every day. I would love to send him that message. Twitter says, what's your favorite zodiac sign? You know, I know absolutely nothing about zodiac signs. Like people always ask me what I am. And then to be polite, I ask them what they are as if I like have any idea what any of it means. I don't really know. And to be honest, I don't really care. I don't know that I believe in it, but I'm a Gemini. And I guess my favorite zodiac sign is Leo because I have two of them in my family and I like them. What's your favorite Disney movie? Hmm. My favorite one when I was a kid was always Hercules is Disney, right? Yeah. I think that was my favorite when I was like young and I haven't watched one in a while, but yeah, Hercules. Also is um, Coco. Is that Disney? Coco. I loved that movie so much. I cried a lot. Pause. Troy Sivan, Louder Than Bombs is written by Troy Sivan. So this is a cool story. My like writing crew, the crew that I wrote Youth with, the crew that I wrote Bite with, the crew that I wrote like so many of my songs with, the first song we ever, ever, ever wrote together. At the time it was called Hologram Hearts. Terrible, terrible title. And we wrote it and I was like, oh cool. I actually really like writing with these people. This was really fun. And so we kept writing. The next time we wrote was like when we wrote Youth or something like that. And we sat on this song for like six years, Hologram Hearts, completely, completely forgot about it. Somehow it got into the hands of the BTS boys who I love and they loved the song and they were like wait we're gonna cut this and I freaked out quickly tried to learn Korean failed miserably somebody translated it and I guess I changed some lyrics and stuff like that and now it's called Louder Than Bombs but I didn't hear it until it was out in the world so I was like up at midnight or whenever that album came out and refreshing refreshing with like the rest of the world because everyone is obsessed as they should be and now I have a song on the BTS album and I'm really excited about it and I love it. And they sound so good, like so much better than I ever sounded on that song. So I'm happy. Does anyone know Troy Sivan's shoe size? Why? Um, I know my shoe size. It's seven, I think, in men's 
in Australian? I don't know, are they different? Like, is Australian shoe sizes different from American shoe sizes? I'm a seven, I think, in American or Australian. I don't really know, sorry. So I guess no one knows my shoe size. If I don't know my shoe size, who does? Troy, how are you feeling? I feel pretty good. I feel a little cooped up today from, from the cabin fever, but I also just feel like an overwhelming sense of gratitude is I think what has come from this period of isolation for me. Like the fact that isolation and quarantine and like me surviving this time is literally just me going back to my parents' house and being like a kid again. My mom like makes me every meal and like raced in here to make my bed before I filmed this. So I'm extremely, extremely lucky. And so I just like have been very conscious of that for the last two weeks. Wait, wait, wait. Did I hear Troy say he was somewhere filming a movie? Yes, you did. It hasn't been announced yet. So I don't know that I can talk about it. So I'm not going to, but I'm really, really, really excited about it. It's by like the producers who made like Juno and Up in the Air and all of these incredible movies, which are like two of my top five movies of all time. Just don't tell anyone I told you, but yeah, it's gonna be cool. Thank you so much internet and thank you so much GQ for those insightful questions. Um, I hope you learned a little something. Just a quick reminder, if you buy a Take Yourself Home t-shirt, we've got three that are all designed by incredible designers from all over the world. And if you buy one, 100% of the proceeds go into COVID relief. So um, if we're still in this crazy time and we're still in this lockdown, please consider doing that if you want a cute t-shirt and you want to help people. Otherwise, stay at home if you can, stay safe. I hope you're all okay. I love you lots. I'll see you soon.